All right, this is uh, Sonic Sega All Stars Racing Transformed on the Nvidia Shield. Uh, it's not streaming. They released the application on the Nvidia Shield. So uh, there's supposed to be controller support, but like Sega normally does, it it's not here yet, and they just say there's controller support and there isn't. Uh, also, there are a lot of bugs, like really bad ones. Um, but hopefully, and I'm sure Sega will fix it in the next update that they release. Um, so I'm using, uh, the 10 Core Key Mapper to map this, and the controls are, work fine. I think this will be a hell of a lot better than, um, the original that they had released on the Play Store. Because the controls actually work. Just have to fight with it. <laughs> but no, when you play it, with, even with the touch controls, it works. I had to touch map this. Um, and the, uh, as you see right now, I'm getting, like, the screens. That's performance issues. <laughs> it's supposed to be doing that. But it wasn't. And this game has a tendency to crash. Some people get black screens. On the shield, it shows the, the bu buttons off the screen. Uh, that happens with a lot of people. Maybe a cell phone issue. I don't know. Seems like most people with cell phone games <laughs> have that issue instead of tablets, you know. So I hope they actually add uh, manual acceleration instead of auto acceleration. Oh, Jesus Christ, what am I doing? But yeah. This is the drift thingy. Fuck. It's not as easy. Yeah, it's not as easy. I, I, I don't know. But. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to do a different event. Uh, it'll probably be better once they add real controller support, but uh, just quit out. And then I'm going to go to like a, any other race. There's going to be multiplayer, but uh, let me do one that I already did. I'm going to do this one. Try it on medium. I'll just go with Sonic. Let me raise the volume a bit. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, they definitely rushed this one out. It's not really working well. But once they get it working, I'm sure they will. Sega always does. It's just that they start off with these weird... And he's like, oh yeah, you're going to be able to play with a controller. It's like, just kidding, you can't play with a controller. So, hopefully it should support the shield's controls. Like with Crazy Taxi, they did that with Crazy Taxi. You had to touch map Crazy Taxi until they updated it. And fixed the quote-unquote controller support that they apparently never added. Ugh. So yeah, but the uh, controls are definitely better than the uh, version on uh, the uh, original Sonic All-Stars ra Racing, whatever. Graphics are better. <laughs> they're not as good as the Vita or anything, but they're definitely better than the last one, and they're not bad, so. It's quite nice. You, know, you get to play this on... Uh, Android and the Nvidia Shield. Just like I said, they need to fix the worm. What am I doing? Going the wrong way. Go the other way. The other way. Uh, I'm tired. Um, it, it's not a secret that I'm gonna lose now.
god. But I'll just play through for the hell of it. <laughs> I'm gonna do a, uh, a comparison between this version and the PS Vita. Uh, I kind of want to do it when uh, when it's updated, though. <laughs> But I guess it's only a graphics comparison, I don't know. But after rebooting, I don't seem to have any, any crashing issues, so hopefully it'll stay that way. It seems like mostly everything's here, uh, from the console and PC and Vita versions and all that. So far, I haven't played it that much, so could easily have missed something. Get that bastard! All the voices seem to be here. Finished. Uh, finished. Event failed. I knew it. But yeah, that's that. That's on the NVIDIA Shield. Please, Sega, uh, release an update soon, at least. Um, and fix the problems. If you can't fix the problems soon, then just wait a little. But, you know, please don't release games that are in a state where the touchscreen controls are off the screen and uh, stuff like that, you know. And they're crashing and going to black screens. Just release the game. Finish it. God damn it, people don't learn. People forget to finish games before they release them. Anyways, uh, so that's on the App Store. Um, if you're using the JXD SM800, uh, so far I've actually had to sideload it. I haven't done it yet. I don't know if it works. But like I said, there's a lot of devices that don't work with this. So Get on the ball, Sega, man. 